everyone. We are back. We are here in chapter three, the artist monocle, which you have just made. Hi, I'm the artist monocle. Um, we did that in paper and cut out right here. Maybe you printed out pages. Maybe you used your own paper if you've got the digital version. But now we've got our monocle. Here's the one I made before. Um, and then I made two more, one that I ripped out and one that I cut out. And now we are on this page here, page 16 of chapter three. What are we doing? We are now bringing our pet with us. So you either ripped out the cat right here or the dog right here. Hi guys. And you've got that with you, plus your artist monocle. Now hold the artist monocle up to your eye, like I showed in the last video. Look at your new pet through it for 10 seconds. You can pause this and do the 10 seconds. Now, name your pet. What name do you think it wants? Make sure you look at it for 10 seconds first. Don't just jump in and give it a name. Really study it through your artist monocle. And now, write its name here. So I looked at my dog right there, and I was like, what name does he want? And I think he wants the name Robert. Hmm, maybe I don't like that name. You can change your name just like I'm doing here. I'm going to name him Blue. And that's my dog's name. And again, as with everything in here, there are no wrong names. There are no wrong words. There are no wrong lines. There's no wrong anything in a poem. Remember, in a poem, there really are no rules and you can be a rebel. So... This is a big, that's a star right there that I wrote, big important thing for everything we're doing in this workbook and with your poems. Okay, so now you've got the name. Now look at your pet through the monocle again. Is it the dog? Is it the cat? Look at it for 10 more seconds and figure out a secret that only you know, a secret that your pet has that only you know. So you can pause this video, look at your animal for 10 seconds. What is its secret that only you know? All right, are you back? Great, got its secret. Now let's go over here to this other page and we're gonna introduce your pet. Um, so now write the things in the, the blank spaces here. Um, if you get stuck um, or need some help on filling out those blank spaces, Use your artist monocle again. The artist monocle is an amazing tool for all poets. Uh, it helps you um, fill in the blanks. It helps you write the words. It helps you make poems that nobody else can. So my pet's name is Blue. I'm going to write it up here. Write your pet's name up there. Um, you think you know me, but here is my secret. So you can take some time, pause this, and fill in yours if you want. I'm going to fill in mine um, right now. My pet's secret is I can no, not taste. I don't want it to be taste. I'm changing my mind. You can always change your mind. I can eat fear. So blue can eat fear. When I'm excited, this is what I shout. Huzzah! I'm doing all caps for blue right there. And when I am sad, this is what I whisper. I'm writing it tiny. It's okay. Um, and then down here, at the bottom of this, write or draw something else about your pet. So you could draw something about your dog or cat, or you could write anything else you want to. Um, I'm going to draw. Uh, what am I going to draw? I'm going to draw um, a a tennis ball, I think, because because Blue loves to chase the tennis ball. So this right here is a tennis ball. Kind of got that. And it's sailing through the air. And then Blue, I'm going to try and draw Blue down here. He's a tough one to draw. Come back. Blue is yelling to the tennis ball because he loves to play fetch. All right, so... Um, draw whatever you want, write whichever, whatever you want there. Um, again, you can pause this and come back. And now, once you've done this, 
turn the page and do a poetry leap. Get up, kick it, do it, raise your arms. Poetry leap, poetry leap. Woohoo! Because you've written two imagined poems so far. Two poems! How many poems? Two poems. One about that owl, mine was called Bingley, and one about either the dog or cat. I did the dog and named him Blue. Um, and now the rest of this chapter tells you um, some fancy pants names so you can impress your teachers, your parents, your friends um, for what you did. I'm going to preview them real quickly, but I'll let you read them on your own. But personification, ooh, that's my uh, impressive face right there. Um, and then this one over here, ekphrasis. Whoa, that is awesome. That's my other impressive face. So learn about those terms, use them if you want to, but you've got two poems that you just uh, wrote. Awesome job.